Hello, everyone. This is uh, News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, Belmont's very own Jake Tapper and editor of the Belmontonian. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, let's talk about, Franklin, the wrap up of town meeting. That's right. Uh, seven nights, uh, the maximum number that we were expecting. Uh, and as Mike Widmer, the uh, town moderator, said, it was one of the long, longer ones. Uh, I think a lot of that had to do with uh, the virtual nature, you know, and when you're at in town meeting uh, in person, it seems to go a little quicker. It's a little bit of a flow that you have. But uh, what we saw is that the budgets were, uh, um, uh, were agreed to overwhelmingly. Uh, and any controversy there, Franklin? Not really. Uh, there were a few that uh, a few, few people wanted to question, but uh, there was overwhelming support for all the budgets. And that a lot of that has to do with just the, the, the amount of transparency the budget goes through, both the uh, general budget and the, uh, the uh, CPA or the Community Preservation Act uh, budgets. There, there, or articles, I should say, those are uh, pretty much uh, vetted through throughout the year, so people know, you know, what what's going on. And so it was pretty, pretty, pretty easy uh, uh, town meeting. Okay, Franklin. So uh, one of the last acts of town meeting, though, was uh, non-financial, at least not immediately financial. Um, they established a permanent rink. Uh, building committee. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Uh, the rink, as we all know, uh, uh, the Skipper uh, Vigorello uh, rink uh, across from the uh, library, it's in pretty much disrepair. It's ready to fall apart. Uh, so um, uh, what uh, Tommy meeting okayed uh, overwhelmingly was a permanent rink committee. Um, now, there's been a controversy or a little bit of a running controversy about um, whether to do this, uh, uh, whether to have this rink committee uh, go forward uh, simply because we have a, um, a library that is going to be going before uh, the voters in uh, November. Uh, many people are wondering if, uh, if uh, with this new permanent rink committee, we will see also a, a debt exclusion for a rink in November. But Mark Pololo, who, who, um, who shepherded this through, said that um, Mark Pololo, who I should say is the chairman of the uh, select board, he said that, you know, there's going to be no movement in terms of where uh, the rink is going to be uh, put on to the, um, uh, you know, whether, you know when, when a debt exclusion for the rink is going to go forward. Um, it might go in November if they get all their P's and Q's put together, but that's, you know, that's only about 60 days where yeah. they need to have a lot of um, data and facts and financials all put in before the select board. There's probably not enough time to get it before voters and and then, well, you, then, then what we, we, I think what people are seeing is is a uh, debt exclusion for the library, which will be about $40 million uh, in November, and uh, a rink, which is increasing in price, as we know, uh, because of all the uh, inflation and, 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 and other you know, things that are forcing higher prices. Uh, so we might see something between a 25 and $30 million in April during the um, town election. Could be offset by fundraising. The library has a fundraising drive going on. They right have now. a very good fundraising drive. I believe they have over, they're nearing $3 million in, fund, in fundraising. And we'll see the same thing in terms of the rank. They're, 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 they are looking to do that uh, rather than um, just looking for the entire amount. In fact, one town meeting member did express an interest in in uh, uh, assisting with corporate fundraising. That's right, and uh, but you know, the, the, oh, anytime you have a corporate fundraising, you know, there's a, there's going to be pushback on that. You know, do you want a corporation to have like a, a name on a on a library or a rink or rooms? So you know, we'll see what happens with that. All right, Frank. But how about? Uh, we're, we're getting pretty close to the first week of summer, and there's something that happens here in Belmont when we get to the first week of summer. And that is the uh, opening of the Underwood Pool, the outdoor pool uh, next to the library. So a lot of people and kids are looking forward to that. Very successful um, uh, in terms of membership drive. Um, everybody wants to go back to the, the pool. It is a really big community uh, asset, uh, even though it's open for about two months. Uh, it's going to be open on June 22nd and 23rd as a preview or, you know, preseason. And the official opening will be the... Um, uh, will be the 25th this Saturday, uh, the 25th, uh, and that's when the hours will be the regular hours uh, from 8 to 8. 
All right. So um, let's let's wrap briefly with um, a mention of of boys and girls rugby. That's right. We're at the Belmont is rugby central uh, Massachusetts. Uh, it is uh, uh, the boys will be me meeting uh, their great rival um, uh, uh, Boston College High uh, in the finals, and it's going to be at C uh, Curry College uh, at four o'clock on Saturday. Uh, the girls are looking for their fourth consecutive state title. Um, uh, at two o'clock, and they'll be meeting uh, Lincoln Sudbury. All right, Franklin. So uh, stay tuned for that, and. Um, uh, we'll see you next time, Franklin. And if you'd like to see more of Franklin's reporting, be sure to check out thebelmontonian.com. And uh, we'll see you next time.